Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with some of my favorite vanilla scented perfumes. I have quite a few. I actually didn't know that I had so many vanilla scented fragrances within my collection until I went through everything. And these are definitely my top staple ones that I actually wear quite regularly. That's how I know that I'm definitely loving vanilla within my fragrances. And I'm kind of steering away a little bit from the dark, musky, woody, deep uh, unisex vibes. I'm definitely going more towards feminine perfumes, a little bit more of a gourmandage touch. So these are all absolutely amazing. For the most part, they last really long on the skin. And uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. If you are new on this channel, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Also give this video a big thumbs up as it helps me reach a lot more people. And leave your comments down below. I want to know what are your favorite vanilla scented perfume so the first one i'm going to start with is from b layered this is called vanilla dreams and i recently talked about this on another video oh this is one of their single note scents and i love this particular one for layering with any other perfumes that i don't really get that vanilla note from it's very potent very strong so it definitely does peek through any other fragrance that you're going to layer this with it just smells so divine what i like about this particular one is that it's not like a deep, dark uh, vanilla. It is a little bit more on the fresh side, a little bit more airy. So it pairs really nicely with a lot of my fresh floral scents. And it is a very long lasting perfume on my skin and on the clothes. It's absolutely amazing. So I really, really like this one. There's not a lot more to say about it because it is a single note. You're not going to get a bunch of um, different elements to this fragrance. It's your very fresh airy uh vanilla scent that's not overly sweet it's not too syrupy it's very very light so beautiful to complement any like floral scented fragrances so i really really like this one and just so you guys can see this is what the bottle looks like this is part of their new um packaging which i really really like it's more sleek and uh, just fits the hand really nicely now we are going to the next one that I'm really obsessed with. It's actually my signature scent of the day. And I have been wearing this for the past three days, I want to say. This is from Mugler. And this is Alien Essence Absolute. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. I have the 30 ml. And look at the dent that I've already put in it. It's crazy because I've only had this for about two weeks now. And I'm completely obsessed with it. This is very different from Alien in the sense of the dry down. In the opening, you are going to get that jasmine. It will remind you of Alien all the way. But once it starts to dry down, you're going to get more of that vanilla, the white amber. And it's just like this really gorgeous, warm scent that just sits beautifully on the skin. It has like this very sensual vibe to it. It's a little powdery, definitely white floral in there. And it just has a slight muskiness to it, but the white, amber, and the vanilla are most predominant on my skin throughout the day. This is very, very intense. So a little goes a long way, and it lasts hours and hours on my skin. It's absolutely beautiful. It's definitely one of my favorite scents, period. It is, unfortunately, discontinued. I did pick this up from Sephora, and um, I believe that was the last bottle. You can still find it in certain boutiques. So if you do see it, grab it while you can because very soon they will not be making this gem and I don't understand. So the next one that I have is from Nina Ritchie and this is Lactis and it's made it to so many of my videos for all the right reasons. I really, really like this one because there's a lot of layers to this perfume. And when you first spray it, it opens up to this fresh, fruity, sweet vibe. You get the um, pink pepper with a little kick of spice, but then you get like the pear and the peach and it's just like oh okay this is this is fruity but then in the middle you get lots of floral notes but the dry down is the magic part with this fragrance it is definitely more of like this gourmandish touch it's very elegant though it's not your traditional gourmand and there's a lot of like caramel vanilla there's also amber in this which makes it very warm but mixed in with all that freshness from the fruits 
I don't know they just made magic in this bottle this one speaks a little bit more elegant to me it's a little bit more of that date night I'm dressed up kind of vibe gorgeous well, the next one that I have is one that I've just been talking about non-stop and I really really love the scent I've actually been wearing it every night for the past week and this is from Givenchy this is organza in the scents this will give you um dior addict vibes so if you like dior addict you will like this one it smells like a vanilla powdered donut i always say that when i'm describing this because it literally reminds me of that it's a little powdery it's sweet but in this very sensual soft airy way it's so beautiful like in the opening, there's a little bit of patchouli in there. There's a plum note in there. But the dry down is definitely gorgeous. It's amber, it's vanilla, it's musk, and it just clings to the skin like no other. When you go in my room, like my bed sheets literally smell like this scent because I've been wearing it every night before I go to bed. And a little goes a long way. It just has this very sensual, erotic kind of vibe to it. It's very like mood setting if I will and it's just like a beautiful gorgeous woman out on the prowl it's so beautiful it's honestly a gorgeous gorgeous vanilla scent definitely vanilla and the amber are very strong with this within this perfume so now I'm gonna go on to something a little bit more heavier okay this is Lancome Maison Lancome and this is Oud Bouquet and I've had this for quite a while and I haven't put so much of a dent on this because it's not something that I wear on a regular basis to me this is more of a heavy um, fragrance a statement maker it is is very very strong and potent and you will catch eyes with this one so it's not something that I wear on a regular basis it's something that I reserve more for an evening wear Oud Bouquet is gorgeous it's a beautiful mix between floral rose and Oud and the Oud in this one is not a scary one I do find it very light and airy it's not a dark uh, deep Oud so if you're kind of trying out oud for the first time i think this would be a great approach because it's not a scary oud in my opinion i have smelled some scents that are very like strong and potent in oud this one i find is a little bit more smooth when i do spray this all i get from this is gorgeous rose and oud it's sweet it's vanilla it definitely has this very like spicy warm vibe with the saffron in there and it just is intoxicating. This is definitely a perfume that leaves a trail no matter where you are. It's very potent and it clings on your clothes for days, to be honest. A little goes a long way. You don't have to go heavy handed with this. Otherwise, it can be a little too suffocating, honestly, for you and whoever you are around. So go lightweight when spraying this one. You don't have to overspray. But it is one of my favorite statement making sense it's gorgeous it's feminine it's bold it's very very captivating I have is from kayali and this is their vanilla 28 so kayali has recently entered my perfume collection and i'm really enjoying the brand so far i own two fragrances from them now vanilla i have to be quite honest when i first got this i was very very overwhelmed with how sweet this scent is it is definitely an intense brown sugar caramel syrupy type of scent i honestly can't even imagine how people wear this on its own on my skin especially it comes off super sweet but i use this mainly for layering underneath other scents it is gorgeous and just melts really really well i also have tried pairing this up with their actual um scent the deja vu white flower and it's absolutely gorgeous it gives that sweet beautiful element that you're looking for within other fragrances but on its own it's just a bit too sweet it is really really heavy it does have the brown sugar and the tonka bean in the base and I think on my skin those are the main notes that really project so it is a heavy one for me very very heavy one but in conjunction with other fragrances, I do love it. So the next one that I have to talk about, you guys should already know that this is going to be included in this video. This is Angelique Noir from the House of Guerlain. I talk about this fragrance all of the time because I'm a totally 
obsessed with this one like look at the dent that i've already put in this this is a gorgeous unique vanilla scent that i can't get enough of i use this on its own i use this in conjunction with other fragrances and i think that it is just one of the most divine perfumes i've ever encountered and it smells gorgeous now this is not just a vanilla scent there's so much more elements to this one when you first open it up you do have this like fresh pink pepper pear angelica uh, notes in there so it's going to give you a burst of freshness and a little bit of that spicy kick with the pink pepper and the dry down you're going to get more of a little bit of a woody touch with that beautiful vanilla and angelica in there which gives that green background that honestly i feel like not a lot of people talk about it is like a green vanilla it's so beautiful and airy and fresh um, but definitely has a little of that woody element. It is a very unique scent that kind of develops over time. When you first spray it, you're just going to get like a burst of freshness. You're like, where is the vanilla? But once it starts to settle and dry down, that's when you get that vanilla, a little bit of that sweetness, but still remaining with that Angelica note because it is in the top and it is in the base of this fragrance. And it just is absolutely beautiful it's so divine it's very long lasting on the skin and i definitely get a ton of compliments with this one it's one of my pretty unique vanilla scents so the next vanilla scent that I have is from Serge Luton's and it's Umbon Vanille. I think that's how you say it. And this, um, you can pick it up at Sephora. They do have quite a few collection of this perfume here. And this just smells so good. It smells so much better on the skin than when you first spray it. I actually sprayed it on this little piece of paper. And on the paper, it's a lot more woody than on the skin. But in the opening, I will say you will get more of that like woody note. But then in the dry down, it becomes a lot more sweet, a lot more kind of caramel, honey. It has a little bit of a bitter touch with the bitter almond but it smells so, so good. The woodiness definitely stays within the background, but the vanilla really becomes a lot more vibrant. It does have tonka bean in there that complements the vanilla so well, and it's a little musky. It's a really beautiful scent that's not too fat.